Hi everybody, Rabbi Zimmerman here on what is day five of Passover and week, who knows, at this point of isolation, hoping that you are staying well, taking care of yourself, checking in on others, even if virtually, and doing what you need to do to stay strong during this challenging time. As our holiday crawls a little closer towards its end, our festival of Passover, I think back to Dayenu, that religious poem we sing at our seders. Maybe some of you are singing it every day now, that prayer in which we looked backward, thinking about gratitude, sometimes missing from the story of our our ancestors in Egypt. That song in which we sing, if only you had gotten us through the desert, it would have been enough. Please, if only you had brought us to dry land, Dayenu. If only you had given us the Torah, Dayenu. If only you had given us the Sabbath at each step of the way, saying this would have been enough. Perhaps in these past few days, you've had your own Dayenus. If only I could just sit in a coffee bar and just watch people. Dayenu, would that be enough? If only I could get in my car, run over, and hug a friend I miss. Diana, would that be enough? If only I could get my kids into one of the playgrounds that are closed, and it was safe, just let them run amok. Diana, if only I could have a piece of bread. Diana, that one's coming soon, I promise. Stay well. And even as we think of these little gestures that may seem silly, but now become so essential to what grounded us, I want us to pause. I want us to really think about those things for which we will be grateful, those things which are essential to our well-being. And so as this Passover moves on and these days seem to multiply and multiply, I would ask with true groundedness, if only our friends and family remain healthy, Dayenu, that will be enough. If only our jobs and the jobs of those in our communities and this country and the world can remain secure so we can get back on our feet and minimize this pain, Dayenu. If only the doctors and nurses, the store workers, the first responders, all who are putting themselves in danger so that we can get through this, can stay healthy and strong and return to their families, Dayenu, that would be enough. If only we can soon be together at our moments of need, may we not have to do another funeral graveside with only two or three family members with us, removed from the sense of community. We pray, Dayenu. If only soon the time will come where we can be with our ill and offer a prayer and hold their hand and let them know physically they are not alone. Dayenu. This is a chance for us, even as we miss those little things that keep us from going insane, to ground ourselves as we do in that song and say, Dayenu. May we be healthy. May we be together. Next year, may our Passover involve hugs and expressions in person and gratitude.